All right, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night, good midnight, good three in the morning, whatever it is for you in River Valley land. I'm gonna show you guys how to check your Jupiter grades for parents. So I'm gonna just do a little logging on here as a staff member. I'm gonna find a student named test student. I'm going to log in as test student's parent. And then I'm gonna go up here to the settings. Doot, doot, doot and make sure that my email is correct, that my student, if they have a phone number in here, is correct, that my name is correct, that my relationship to the student is correct, that my email address is correct, that's an important one, and your phone number. Whatever phone number is preferred, make sure that you have that in there. So if you have a home phone or a work phone or a mobile phone that is preferred, make sure you have the number incorrectly and that it is clicked on preferred. Now there are a few things that you can do down here to get notifications. You can be notified of emergency alerts, messages, group discussions, behavior alerts, absences, and grades. Make sure that all of these are clicked for web message because that means it's going to go to Jupyter Grades. Now, if you have your email incorrectly and you click on here to have an email alert sent, anything that goes to Jupyter Grades will also go to your email. That's how we as teachers have it all set up. So if you as a parent or a student emails us through Jupyter or messages us through Jupyter, then it comes directly to our email as well as being saved on Jupyter as a record. You can also do this for text messaging. So if you want emergency alerts to be text messaged to you or you want absences to be text messaged to you, make sure that you put that in there. You can have grade alerts sent to you every weekday or any day of the week that you choose. I think that the default is Friday and most people leave it as Friday. You can also have this text messaged to you. You can have always sending information, the grade information, or only if there's missing assignments, or if there is a threshold that you would like your student to be staying above. So you could say if student is a C or lower, or you can just say always. Then you need to scroll up to the top and make sure you click on done. Now, I'm not able to make these changes in my settings because I'm logged in as an admin through a test parent, but you can do all of this on your account. And if you don't know how to get into Jupyter Grades, give us a call at the school or email me and I will send you your parent login information. And here's a cool little thing. We can actually see how many times parents and students have logged in. So if you have not logged in, let us know and we can help you out with that. It's better than it sitting there with zero logins all year and you're just not really knowing what kind of messages you're getting. All right, hopefully that is helpful for you guys and I will talk to you later, bye.